until you see what we've got for you guys today. First off, we've got a fun game that's gonna turn laundry day into payday yeah. for one lucky lady in the audience. One of you. Is it you, is it you, is it you? And later, just because you're pregnant doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your style. So we're gonna show you moms-to-be how to rock that bump. Yeah. Plus, from Dancing with the Stars, Alfonso Ribeiro and his partner, Whitney Carson, are here. Yeah. So, that's a lot going on. In Tamara's voice, I'm ready to turn up. up. <laughs> okay, ladies, we have got to talk about this. A new report from NBC says that 40% of Americans don't take their vacation days. Wow. What is that about? I mean, it's one thing to love your job, but it's another not to take your paid time off. Why is our country so work obsessed. Because we're Americans and we hard workers. We don't want nobody to take our jobs, so we gonna, we gonna work until we die. That's how we are, yes. we're Americans. You know? I have <laughs> Wait, to. that's true, that, that, you know, that maybe they don't wanna lose their jobs and they think that if they go away on vacation, and there's, you know. You know, you take one day off and then before you know back. it's married and took the job. So <laughs> I'm at work every to, day, why, okay? Why do I have to take the job, <laughs> Is Lonnie? It, well, you know, you my baby. Okay. But really, this, this report is really kind of disturbing mm -hmm. because there are paid vacations that Americans are not taking. And when I was working as an engineer for three years, I finally took a vacation. Mm -hmm. I went to St. Martin. Mm, that was yes, a good time. Ten days. And when Ooh. I got back, that's when I realized, because I felt so relaxed. Yes. You know, I, I didn't realize that I was so stressed. So I want to say to people that are working, especially those nine to five jobs, please save your money, take a vacation. You will yes. feel the difference in your body and your mind. Serious. Really? Yes. Really will. Yes. Okay, yes. I, I have to say, I have a confession to make. I am definitely one of those people who do not know how to take a vacation. You take, you so work on 15 jobs already. Huh? I said, I am so sorry to hear yeah, that. Yeah, like, I mean, after like, you know, 24 hours, I'm done, okay, let's get back to work. Wow. I think it's important to have a balance. I lived in Italy for, for two months, uh -huh. and I realized it's something different over there, overseas. They actually work to live. Americans, we live to work. Yes. I think we look so forward to things to make us happy, whereas when I was over there, they look for experience, like life experience to yeah. make them happy. There's and I would rather have that. I even respect yeah. the fact that there are some countries yeah, that take that. siestas, right? Yeah, in Spain, they take siestas. Don't you wish we had that here? Stop what? Like, I don't know what that is. I don't you know what that is. You take a nap. You take lunch, you take a nap. Uh, it's like nap. nap time for grown-ups. That's like, siesta. Yes, yeah. everyone oh. in Spain, after lunch, all the stores close and everybody Everything. goes and takes a nap. No, that's an inconvenience. I'm, get up. Well, they, <laughs> Why? But it's your child. No, but what happens is, is that, say like, okay, it's nine to five. So they'll close at 12 and they won't open back up until two. And it's like everybody, the whole, like, whatever that Shuts city, down. they just shut down. And when we did that in St. Martin, that's when I first found out about yeah. siestas. And I was like, this is, this is not, but after 10 days, I was like, this is not. Yeah. Yes. Imagine, imagine, I feel like they gave it to us in pre-K. And I just feel like it's disrespectful that we don't have nap time as adults. I well, I was take, I when I was an engineer, time. I used to take a lot of siestas. My, <laughs> my boss didn't know, though. You know what, though? One thing, <laughs> look, man, I catch the itis know? after I eat, so I, I need to take a nap. One thing I can relate uh, with Americans, if, if this is the reason why it's hard to take a vacation, is because you're obsessed with your work. When you mm -hmm. guys go on vacation, do you turn off your phone? No. See, I don't either. I still work while I'm on the beach, drinking well, that Mai that. Tai. I'm still wa working. It's yeah, hard you to turn off like your you phone, you feel like you're gonna miss something. You're not gonna yeah. miss nothing. Turn exactly. off your phone. If you go on vacation, so you turn off your phone. Just, really? I turn off everything. Everything. Even it's your like, iPad. It's only a week. I turn off everything, and really? I just enjoy myself because I learned that early on. But I, I had to learn it. I think some people might be afraid that, like, okay, I'm gonna leave work for a week. Someone's covering for me. And what if that person that's covering for me does a better job See, than me? I ain't got time for that. I don't have then time I get back and I don't that. have a job. But don't you guys find that if you, you know, allow yourself to relax, you'll actually do a better job when you you're will. working? Of course. You will. Well, that's what I found out when I was working. I didn't know you that know until I you took a it. vacation. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you may think that if somebody gonna take your job, they gonna take your job that's anyway. That's true. Yeah. Believe that, I, I right? love going on vacation. Honestly, really? I, I prefer vacations over work. 
Really? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, <laughs> no. You guys don't prefer being on no. vacation than being at work? Yeah. Yeah. So, we all know what Americans sorry, those guys, are that they called, do this, it's called this living statistic life. on. No, but, but, well, everyone I know prefers to be on vacation than at their okay, job. Okay, but can I say this, though? Like, what about the people? Like me, mm -hmm. who really, really, really love what they do. Like I, I love don't, what I do. No, I'm not I saying that. I'm just saying. Better. Hold on. I don't. I would prefer going to work rather than getting up and going to a beach. Like for really? yes. Like for me, it's like a wasted day. Like I'm just gonna sit in the sun and do what? But okay. Tamar, yeah, how? No, y'all. Tamar comes an hour early. She really does. Siri, at this job, this is one of the hardest working women yeah. I have met in this industry. I'm not saying, I'm well, serious. Not just that, but then serious. she's going to work after this. Yeah. Too, and then yeah. you're a mom, and yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, me, I'm going to the do. bar after this. Me too. I, I feel like my job is a vacation. Like, really, y'all feel like y'all at work right now? Like, for real? No, I we don't. Have fun I here. Don't. I love but it. But I wish we could film this on the beach, too. And you guys, yeah. sadly, many like, people out there. Like, if we could do this exact same thing in a beach chair, no, I'd I be like, I can understand being at a cubicle fulfilled. with an annoying boss who work on your nerves, who ain't got no life but, but to pick on you. I get that part. But for real, we really going to be like, oh, I'd rather be at the beach and be at the real lives. Because no, I need but, to see me some new episodes. Because I, I don't want to get the message confused. There are hardworking Americans Americans out there that have paid vacations, like Tamara said. We're just trying to stress that you should take your paid vacations. Oh. Don't do that. Well, because yeah, I think be a, a lot of stress in this country is coming from the yes. fact that we're not relaxed. So if you're working at the post office, you're working at the DMV, you're at an office job, you're a construction job, please take your vacation. Yeah. You enjoy, earn it. Enjoy your life. You have to, to look into the, the paid vacation part. And don't be so mean to me when I come into the post office. They mean in the turn off your phone, okay? What do you do? They think? haven't been on vacation. I have a question to ask Tamar. What do you do to relax? Because I think it's important to do so. I have sex. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. On my vacation, <laughs> yes. Yeah, sex on your vacation it's is amazing. OK, we need to move on, because this is so good. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I've waited my whole life to have an opportunity to sing, to mm -hmm. act, to be the person that I am today. And I just feel like I've had enough time off trying to get here. You know what? So I I think, I'm all right. Hold on for a second. I'm but good. I think you working actually works for you too because your husband is always with you, your baby yeah. is it's always true. with you. But it's important to those, you know, families that maybe the, the, the father works a lot or the mom works right. a lot. It's important to take that time off to be with your family. Yeah. Yeah. And the concerned. way you work is different than the way another person, mm -hmm. you know, in a regular nine to five works. Yes. I mean, I you come to you got a nice ride, okay? Yes. <laughs> it's just like, I tried it. You know, so it's a little bit different. It is a little bit different because I, I do work you. with my family. In all aspects, I work yeah. with my family. Like, yeah. when I do Braxton's, I work with the girls and mm -hmm. my sisters and my mom. When I do the other show, I work with Vince and Logan. And then I do here, I work with my, my girlfriends. Yes. Yes. Like, my vacations most of the time are with my family. So I don't know about y'all, but I will take any and all vacations I can get to spend time, you know, with my man alone, yeah. with my family alone. But I'll tell you one thing. When I was growing up, my family vacations were anything but restful. Did you guys take family vacations that, like, like when you were growing up? Yes, oh, God. Yes. Oh, I yes. would many. I would spend hours in the pool swimming. Like I never got out of the pool. Now I just recently realized that I was poor growing up. Yeah, right. Ah. No, let me explain this. <laughs> me and my family would drive from New York City to Virginia Beach every summer. How many hours is it? Like it's like thirteen. So, thirteen hours in a car. Okay. Okay. The four of us. And then I thought as a child, like my memories are like, psh, we stayed at the flagship. Like yeah. that was like the Ritz, okay, as far as I was concerned. And then recently the other day, my dad converted all our childhood videos to DVD. So I like happened to be going through them. First of all, it was not even a hotel. It was a motel. Yes. <laughs> well, and I, I the saw these before. videos of me swimming in the pool, but the pool was in the middle of a parking lot. Yeah, babe. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, my memories are so different. As I thought that they were like, really like luxury filled vacation. But it was, cause you know what it was about? It was about you and your family yep. getting mm -hmm. together. And I remember when we was going on vacation, my parents in the van, it was like six kids. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my, both my parents, that's eight people. <laughs> the car ride was longer than the vacation. We didn't really realize that. You know what I'm saying? You think you balling out of control. Oh, we got a king to me. We got a six flags. Yes. But it took 13 hours to get there. Oh, so we there for three hours and you get back in the car and you drive 13 hours That's back. Crazy. Or we all piled up 
in one hotel room. Yes, same thing. <laughs> and you don't know, because at, at that time, you think that you are really getting your life. Yes, yeah. So really, honestly, I guess the moral of the story is, I mean, it doesn't take a Bitcoin to no, enjoy no, your life. It it's about the people yeah. that is around you. You know, I grew up in the Brewster Project, so my, I, I have a, you know, I grew up with a single mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to the single mothers out there, you know, she could not afford to take us on right. a family vacation. Yeah. But what my mother did was that she had me join organizations like the Girl Scouts. Shout out to the Girl Scouts. Yeah. Yeah. We would go camping in the summer, so that was like a vacation yeah. for me. Yeah. And I understood what it was like to get away. So to all the single mothers out there, if you can't afford, put your kids into a day camp or summer camp or something like that so that they can, you know, get a little getaway. You, yeah. And then you get two weeks away from your kids. <laughs> and that's you a vacation for the guys. Such, such promising memories. My first vacation with my family. I was 16. I got my driver's permit. And you remember that pink slip? You could only drive if yes. you have somebody in the car with you. Mm -hmm. So you're excited. You're ready to drive anywhere you can go. So we drove from San Jose to uh, Mexico, for, to Tijuana, really. Mm -hmm. But Mexico was what we were thinking. <laughs> so we got in the car and we drove. And I never learned to look at the dashboard. So when the oil light went on, I drove that car right down to the ground. It totally p p p p p to the road, uh, the side of the road. And we had to get out. Me, my grandmother, my mom, my dad, and my two brothers walked 13 miles oh. to the nearest exit to then find a hotel. My dad left his driver's license in the car, so we only had his green card. There were two Vietnamese kids crying, couldn't speak English. My grandmother was, had a rice hat on, ready to leave. It was a very suspect-looking situation. Oh, wow. To say the least. To say the least. So anyway, my mom wouldn't let the car go. We had to tow it back home. It was worth about $500. They bought a new car, <laughs> guess who drove that car all junior and senior high through high school? You, you did. did. That's my memory of my first family vacation. Wow. But it was the best and it was the funniest. Our, I believe our, it. Our family really didn't have a lot of money growing up to go on family vacations. But the coolest thing is, is we lived in Hawaii at the time. So we would just what? go to. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I, what, I, was an, I was an army brat, so there's a place called Schofield Barracks. So we would just camp on, on the beach, and, and one memory <laughs> of our little family vacation is uh, there were man-of-wars. Do you guys know what man-of-wars no. are? They're jellyfish. Oh, ooh. We were on the beach. Tamara. What? I love you with Why? all my heart. What did I, I do now? You, but you said we couldn't afford family vacations. We couldn't. But we lived in Hawaii. <laughs> No, let me set you straight. I'm just looking at Let her. me set you straight. <laughs> if there's anybody here in the army, there you would know. We lived in government uh, housing. The mm -hmm. army uh, put us up. So yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, <laughs> um, get back to the jellyfish. I have a friend the that's army in the army. Is sending me to Hawaii. Yeah, he's it's stationed rough. in North Carolina. He not in the in the Hawaii. But I love. Go finish that's your story. Okay. You so, finish your story. Jellyfish. We in Hawaii so, story. Yes. We lived in Hawaii. <laughs> we went to the beach every day. And there were man wars on, on the beach. And I, I don't remember. even know what that is. It's jellyfish. Jellyfish. Oh, a jellyfish. 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 I'm sorry. Please, God, don't worry about us. us. Okay? I'm Anyways, so there was this there was this warning, you know, saying don't go in the in the ocean. And I remember there was this one kid, he went in the ocean, he got stung, and I was like eight and I was laughing like ha, 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 you got stung. <laughs> oh, God. Uh -oh. oh my god. I got stung by the by the jellyfish. So what did you pee on you? Did someone pee on you? I had to I had to pee on myself. <laughs> I ended up at the hospital, and they had to put all this, like, stuff all over me. I never made fun of anybody like that ever, ever again. <laughs> yeah, Tamara, family vacation lesson. Oh, my God. Never made fun of anybody. you got to love Tamara. Stung by jellyfish. Or as grown-ups, have you ever wanted to take a vacation from your vacation? Have you ever yes. gone on vacation and gone too hard? Yes. Have you ever been, you know, spring break Cancun and you came home and needed to detox? No? Yes. 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 Uh, I couldn't handle it. I'm telling you, I left my vacation and went home to be like, <laughs> Zen, I can't move. It was a problem. Okay, but have you ever been on vacation with your family and they worked on your nerves so oh. bad? When I go home, that happens Child. all the time. I, can, I put a limited time yes. that I'm going to spend with them. Because they, ooh, I love all y'all back there in Detroit. Shout out, but y'all know y'all work my it's nerves, all right? 
You gotta take a vacation from your family vacation. Yes. Uh -huh. I got to have me a break from them for like two or three days because it's just too much, you know? Well, whenever I go home, my Aunt Virginia, I don't care whether it's, you know, snow up to your, your chest, she gonna bring out that barbecue pit, so. Aunt Virginia, I'll be there in December. Bring out the barbecue pit, because I'll be ready, okay? And two days, I'm going that's there. it, two days. We want to come, too. We want to come, too. I want to experience the barbecue pit. Yeah. I want to come. Will you let me come, Lonnie? That'd be so much I'm fun. sorry, I'm not All right. I've never been to Detroit. I want to come. I'm going to let you come, okay? Well, thank you, yeah. Lonnie. Lonnie, you're not letting me come? I'm going to have the Bibles come? and everything. <laughs> Why do I always have to carry a Bible, Lonnie? I carry other things. You tell me, T. You tell me. Actually, I don't have a Bible. It's on my phone. It's a Bible See? app. That's what the mother of a very active toddler. It seems as though the laundry never ends. It's a thankless job, but somebody's got to do it. Well, we've got a lot of hardworking moms just like us who watch the show, so we decided to turn this chore into a game called Laundry Day. <laughs> We'll have three moms join us here on the stage. Their job is to go through our laundry bag and find the $500 hidden in the pockets of one of the pairs of jeans. The mom who finds the cash keeps the money. Yes. So what do you guys think? Are you ready? Where are you from, and how many kids do you have? DC and two kids. Two Hi, kids. Hi, okay. DC, my hometown. Kristen. Originally from Detroit. I okay. have one four-year-old. One four-year-old. All right. Where are you from? Downey, California, and I have two kids. Two kids. All righty. That sounds like they can use the 500. I know, right? All right. Are the mommies ready to sort through some jeans for some cash? Yeah. <laughs> All right now, are y'all ready? Yes. 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 I don't really yes. believe it. I don't believe it. I'm ready. Ready. Yes. Right, right. 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 ready? Ready? Set? Go! Ah! All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tamar. Tamar, you can't. Get it for him. Go underneath. Try underneath. to put my hand all the way in. Luckily, I have long okay. hands and I'm tall, so it works. Are you used to doing laundry? You look I like am. Okay. I am. All right, you look like you a see, professional. How many loads a week do you do laundry? Oh, gosh, maybe a dozen. Does it normally pay $500? No! You get to pay $500 home. What are you, you going to do with the money? Well, since I want it because I'm a mother, I'm going to take my kids somewhere. known for perfecting the Carlton on the mean streets of Bel Air. Please welcome Alfonso Ribeiro and his dance partner, Whitney Carson. Yeah. <laughs> We spin, uh, you spin it? Spin you, spin, it? you spin it. Give me a good spin now. Okay. What do we want? Okay. Come on now. What? what? Yes, I did. It's amazing. Yes! Wow. Oh, oh, my God. 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 Oh,
Okay. All right. <laughs> you do yours. You do yours. Oh! Right here. I'm okay. right here. Oh! Right here. Yes. Come on over here, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's a little Run DMC at the bottom, you know. Uh, what up? What you need? You know, Alfonso, I've worked with you yes, on you have. GSN. Yes, you have. Yes, we did. And my girl Tamara, you directed her. Well, we, we starred together on a uh, It was like a pilot. We did yeah. like, it ended up being like six episodes that we finished. And uh, we were husband and wife. Oh! Wow. That was my wife. Yes. Did you see all the You know she didn't sound like that. No, 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 no. You, don't, you, don't, you don't seal the deal on TV. <laughs> Were there kissing scenes? We did have it. We did have a couple. Yeah, yeah we, we had a couple moments. Oh, oh, me too. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Tamara did not mention that to us. What? Well, no, because y'all might have went and got the tape. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, listen, I'm married, and he married, and we're not going to have And I know your now. wife. I, I know your I know. wife. No, you, you sent a picture of you and your son, and your son looks just like mine. I know. They could really? be like really? brothers. Y'all yes. sure y'all yes. didn't get together? Right. Stop playing, Mom. Stop playing. Hilarical. <laughs> well, thank you. They have us both get in trouble up in yes. here. You know what? Y'all tearing it up on Dancing with the Stars. Yes. But, you know, here we are. Seriously. <laughs> and we remember you as the fun-loving Carlton Banks from Fresh Prince of yes. Bel Air. I mean, yes. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Amazing. Did you ever the Carlton would land you on Dancing with the Stars. Well, I mean, actually, I feel like the Carlton actually stopped me for many years being on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> oh, God. Because people were like, oh, man, I mean, he's got a dance named after him. I'm like, yeah, but it's a corny dance. That, that, that's not no, a it's real a great dance. We love it. It's a great dance. It's it. never corny. We love it. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. It never gets old. My childhood right there. You ought to scream like that because I have to say, you both killed it on the opener, and you guys scored like nines across the board. Like, right. come yes. on, everybody, that's Jeff yes. money. Okay, I have your first performance. Do you guys feel any pressure? Well, you know what? We felt a little pressure week two, obviously, yeah. because it was like, you know, now we've got to back this yeah. up, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, I think Whitney felt more pressure than I did because <laughs> she, she felt oh, like, Lord. okay, this was a, like an amazing routine. Now I can't let them down, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And exactly. so she felt that pressure. I was like, you put it in front of me, we're going to work it out. We'll figure it out, yeah. right? All right now. And actually, I have like a theory in, in, you know, in life in general. It's like I play a lot of tournament golf. And in golf, you go one hole at a time, one swing at a time. Okay. You don't play the 18th hole when you're on the second tee, right? Tell them now. So that, <laughs> that concept rides with me the entire time. I'm like, this is a dance we have this week. Mm -hmm. We work as hard as we can on it mm -hmm. this week. Whatever happens, happens. You go to the next one and you do it again. Yeah. So right. You know, I, we, we're not focusing on what's going to happen right. later. Yeah. I'm Love here for that. that. You know? But all that great work obviously has paid up. You've had a great run on the show. What has been your favorite moment? Well, uh, honestly, it's really been learning the quick, quick step, step, right? Yeah. Because we didn't get it to where we could actually do the dance until Sunday. Ooh, yeah. Really? It really? was crazy. Like, wow. couldn't do it. The routine was so unnatural for him to be in that stance yeah. and to, like, have such quick feet. Like, I think it just totally threw you off. And, like, we get literally it. could not do it start to finish until Sunday, the day before the you show. You look like you crazy. was worried, too. Was you worried? I was, <laughs> I was, was just, she? just a little bit. <laughs> I was like, we've got to pull this together, man, <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> but we did. It, it came together. It. it came, it's like all of a sudden we had a major breakthrough. On Sunday, mm. I was like, we got through it one time, and I went, oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, we, could breathe. we have a clip. So uh -oh. let's take a look at uh -oh. some of your fancy footwork. Uh -oh. I saw yeah. that was yeah. amazing. That, that was the that fun was the part. That was the easy part. That was the easy part. <laughs> oh. Because you look like you're having was, fun. It, it, when I'm here, and it... <laughs> his face changes. That's his face when he's using the quick step. <laughs> and my feet are like this. <laughs> so for the past couple months, you guys, you guys have been spending every waking moment together. There's probably not much that you both don't know about each other. But Whitney, we're going to ask you all types of questions about oh, Mr. No. Alfonso here. <laughs> and for every answer that you get wrong, <laughs> Alfonso will be taking a disgusting shot of his unfavorite vegetable, Lonnie Showham. <laughs> Pickle juice! Woo! 
<laughs> you hate pickles, right? Y'all really want to see me throw up, right? <laughs> yes. So let's get ready to play Stuck in a oh, Pickle. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling pressure. If okay. you get this wrong. <laughs> Please Whitney, me. focus, no. right here, right the here. The rehearsal focus. tomorrow is going to be horrible. If you oh. <laughs> Come on, girl, you got this. I got so it. Mean. What was the title of the theme song to The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Yup, there's a title. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. Take a shot. Alfonso. Can y'all tell me what the name is first? Do What's you know what the name is? Name? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. No. 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 You yeah. don't even know what the name was? Take a shot. Don't try to get you out of it. You don't even know that. In you West Philadelphia. The no. official name to yeah, the that, song that is. That ain't even right, because if I don't know it, how she's supposed to know it? Yeah. All right, wait a minute. It's that. your home to Bel Air. I'm trying to figure out which one has the least. Drink, 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 drink. I hate pickles too. Shot, 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 shot. Easy. Oh, that's okay. That's easy. <laughs> no, you don't swallow. Yeah. Did you swallow it? <laughs> Whitney, you gotta help your no, partner I just out. out. Okay. I'm gonna throw it okay. up later. I'm ready. I'm ready. Do you remember Play Silver her. Spoons? Oh God. Okay. <laughs> what was Alfonso's character's she name? She wasn't born. <laughs> Wait, you guys should know each other. Y'all, y'all with each other a yeah, lot. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, she Alfonso. Knows personal question. Alfonso, this is our show. <laughs> yes. Listen to the question. Yeah. Okay. Did she not Google you? Right. Not like, like. She knows Alfonso, real okay. me. We're talking to Whitney. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna... What was Alfonso's character's name on Silver Spoon? I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess. Uh, <laughs> just, just give me a shot. Wait, 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 you're right, you're right. Al Alfonso? No! Technically, yes! Yeah, yes, yes, it yes, was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> really? Yes. 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 Did Afonso star in oh, this is with Michael easy. Jackson? This is easy. Yeah. Pepsi. Yay! Yeah. 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 Being pregnant doesn't mean you can't keep up with the latest trends and feel fashionable. So today, we're going to help the moms to be with some fashion advice that will put their tummies on display. You heard me. Let's rock that bump. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Here to help give fashion advice is fashion expert Sadie Murray. Hi. I remember back when I was pregnant, it was really hard to find that perfect outfit that you felt comfortable mm -hmm. and fashionable in at the same time. Yes. So I am really, really happy that you're here. Yes. I'm really, really, really excited. Well, let's get this fashion show started before the stork arrives. Let's check out our first mommy-to-be. Sadie, tell us about this look. Yes, I love this look. So back in the day, it was all about hiding that bump. Now it's all about showing it off. We put her in a gorgeous fitted dress mm -hmm. with a leopard print. This is from Burlington. Okay. And she just looks amazing. It's hugging all of her curves in all the right places. We paired it with a great low heel mid calf boot. And the boots are only $99? Under 100 bucks. And they're Crocs if you can believe it. What? But they're very comfortable. Wow. wow. You need that extra wiggle room when your feet swell. You do. So that round toe is going to really help you. So what's the trick to looking good in one? Just own it yes. and be okay with it and be confident and know that everybody loves that bump too. I know, and, it's, and the dress is only $14.99 from Burlington. I know. Can you believe that? That's so affordable. So this next look is my everyday running errands look, but you still look super fashionable. We have that skinny jean look with the bright color. How nice. hot is she? Amazing. She looks amazing. I know. So this is a great pop of color. Okay. Don't be afraid to be daring with this and keep it comfy and stretchy. That's the key. And the pants are from Ross. Yes. And they're only $15. What? Yes. What? I know. <laughs> I remember having stretchy maternity pants to fit my growing belly, and it's so important to have a true fit, but I noticed the horizontal stripes. Are we breaking any rules here? We're being rebels to the nth degree. Okay. Wear the fitted dress, wear the bright colors, wear stripes. You're pregnant. You can do whatever you want. Well, she looks amazing. <laughs> what else did you bring for us? I'm really, really I know, loving I love these. this. Okay, so our next look, if you're going on a baby moon or a nice Away. You want to feel as sexy as ever. It's okay to wear a one piece. Yes. Wear it with a great cover up here. Lots of color. She looks 
so sexy. And this swimsuit is from Pea in a Pod. Yes. It's one of my favorite stores. Such and it's go-to. only for $50. Right. Love That's it. amazing. I know. And I like how the cover-up just gives you a flowy, like, bohemian look. She looks very regal. Well, I mean, you're pregnant. You, you should feel royal every day. Yes. And that cover-up, you can wear it again. So you don't just get it when you're pregnant. It's beautiful. Love it. Well, so. these pregnant ladies look lovely. So what else did you bring? Our next look is going to make you feel like a million dollars. Oh, my goodness. Sparkly as ever. This is her moment. This is the evening gown in champagne. I love this because you can really accentuate that bump. Look at that bling on the side. Says, bam, here's my bump. And also, when you're pregnant, we want Mm -hmm. everything to be pretty perky. Yes. So make sure to find a good dress with a good bra. You can wear a good bra with it. So And and the dress is only $150. And it's from Bloomingdale's. Yes, it looks, it. it looks very, very, very expensive. She, she looks like a goddess. She looks expensive, and she's going to own the night, clearly. Mm-hmm. And just because you can't see your toes over your growing tummy doesn't mean you can't rock the latest styles. Whether you're currently pregnant or thinking about it, we hope we've inspired some fun looks to help you show off your bump. Congratulations to the mommies to be. Thank you so much, Sadie, for being here. All right, nowadays, just about everyone has an Instagram account, and they're posting pictures like crazy, all right? But just because you have an account, it does not mean you should post every single picture that you take. I mean, like, come on. So before today's show, we peeked inside our audience's Instagram accounts, and all I can say is, oh, my God. (laughs) What was y'all thinking? All right, now it's time to face the music, people. This right here is Insta Slam. Okay, let's check out our first picture in question. Lannis? What's happening here? It looks painful. I'm being tortured by the dentist. Okay. I just went beyond the dentist's hands and took my snapshot. Got Multitasking. Wow, that's a selfie at a whole new level. You were real pressed for that one. I was just sharing right. my pain. Just sharing my pain. <laughs> I understand, though. I, I'm afraid of the dentist, so if I were there, I would have liked the picture just to give you some support, to make Thank you feel you, good darling. in the chair. I would have been there you. with you. Thank you. Pumpkin, I'm here for you. I, I but don't. at the end of the day, I don't believe everybody needs to count your cavities. Leave <laughs> that for the dentist. <laughs> Okay, here's another one that stopped me in my tracks. Avaro. Wow. I mean, honey, child. <laughs> Hold Avaro. up. Avaro, oh, Avaro. Wait, child. what were you doing in this picture? Well, you know how everybody's wasting money on, like, wraps, and it's, like, $40? I'm like, I'm gonna go to the dollar store, get me some ceram rack, put lotion, bam, let's go running. That That's is not the right. same thing. Ah! No, wait, I... <laughs> Wait, I'm not even gonna lie. I know exactly what you're talking about because every time I post a picture, there's people on there that are like, $40 wraps, I yep. can slim your waist, I got you. So this is you trying to lose yeah, some weight. and it actually worked. Like, I was drenched in sweat. Let's see, what's that waistline looking like? Hi! <laughs> but okay, why, why were you doing this on Instagram? I didn't have a job at that time, and I'm like, let's go running. <laughs> well, girl, you have taken home remedies to a whole new level, pumpkin, okay? I can't might afford try a real that. rap, get that saran wrap. I might try that. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I, I mean, just... why spend $40 when you could just, you know, get, go to the 99 cent store and put a saran wrap around you? But right. only thing I like wrapped is burritos, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I cannot believe there's so many of y'all posting crazy looking pictures, right? Okay, I couldn't let this segment end without addressing this last photo. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rafaela, where you at, girl? Oh. oh. Get over here. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? Rafaela. Rafaela. Can you explain to me this picture? What, what, what is this? Um, this was a few years back with my cousin, and we were at a relative's house, really bored, so we were like snooping around. Uh huh. We found some uh, facial hair removal cream, and started... so you decided to remove your mustaches <laughs> yeah. together and post yeah. it on Instagram for right. all your friends to see. Exactly. <laughs> what do we think of this, ladies? Were you having a man moment? That's why you said, I'm gonna just put on some, some facial cream. No, we were like, this, this doesn't probably work. We didn't believe it. Why you put that on Instagram, though? No. No. Like, what is going on? We thought it was pretty funny, and then afterwards, I really didn't remember Well, it got you on the reel, it. so I guess it was funny. <laughs> okay, so that Insta Slam was seriously ridiculous. Yes. But we're not done yet. Yes, that's right. We have one more to put up. So let's check out this photo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh. Tamar, hey. Now, girl, what is going on here? Let me tell you are, we, are we really po- 
posting up like food yeah. coma pics. I mean, I, I had a crab leg hangover. You know? Really? Who, who took the picture, Tamar? Uh, my friend TC took the picture. I'm, but I'm leaning on Vince, if you can see. Like, I, I'm really having a crab leg, you know, shrimp, hot and juicy hangover. I got oh, my life. Ooh, yes. it's the Baltimore in you. You couldn't help Baltimore yourself. Baltimore queen hopping me. OK. <laughs> what y'all think about that pic? 